All right, it is June 14th, 2023. The lighting is not good. So I'm gonna try to be quick here because it's 9, 11 in the afternoon. So day was good. I've learned a little bit about what is around the corner and things that are working and not working for us. I sold a pretty good size project at my uh, part-time sales gig and pulled in some commission. Uh, the funny part is like the better I get, the more money that will be made. And it, the commission from that is more than my wife's two weeks worth of work, which is kind of crazy to say out loud, but yeah. And just backtracking, if you guys are new here, just to let you guys know, hi, my name is Eric. I created this channel to document the process to financial freedom in the most raw, like low production value way possible, straight from the source, like as I'm going through from my phone, like I have the nice equipment, camera, microphone, everything, but I choose not to use it just to be able to, to keep it raw and like straight from the phone, straight from the dome and give you the information as soon as I come across it. Uh, to document the process and also for myself in the future. So if you do resonate with this material and you want to share the word or, you know, increase the awareness of it, like, comment, subscribe, share it with someone that might also be on the journey to financial freedom, maybe yourself as well. Uh, Cause I make this channel for two reasons for my family in the future. When I'm like 67, I want to be able to show them my mindset, my approach, my focus, my, uh, process behind getting to financial freedom and like what our family went through to get there and also for you guys because there's a lot of disconnect in the world where people already get to that place and they're like okay cool this is what i do or this is what i would recommend but i don't think there's enough people out there that are documenting their process currently and what they need to do daily so that's pretty much it the main topic of today is more or less like content and why I find value in it and what it does and has done for me long-term and with certain doors and opportunities. So just not to go into detail, but I have a, a social media channel for sports, like a sports related page where I was an athlete for years and basically talking about my own experience or knowledge of, of the topic. And people resonate with that. You know, it does well. I have TikTok and YouTube and everything in it. You know, I'm happy with it. But the really important part to note is YouTube and social media in general has an incredible amount of leverage for what it can do for you. Because let's just take a simple example, two people, we'll call them Bob and Jerry, and they do the, they do the exact same thing. And they follow the process their own way for five years. Let's take Bob, who is, let's just say a real estate agent who He's just an agent. He does his job day in, day out, you know, does a good job, makes whatever, 100K a year. By year five, nothing really changes. He might make like 125, 150. Let's just say, uh, just bring math into the equation. Jerry, same thing, 100K first year. But the, the only difference is he documents his process throughout the entire time and shares his feedback, his thoughts on like the market and things like that. So in year one, maybe no difference. Year two, probably will get some traction because people will be curious. And if he lives in Oklahoma, he'll say, you know, hey, I'm an Oklahoma real estate agent. If you guys are looking to buy or sell in the area, hit me up. Uh, this is what I've seen. This is that beautiful house I toured today, whatever, you know, examples. And people will be looking up Oklahoma real estate agents. And if there's a guy that has posted about being a real estate agent in Oklahoma, that gives him an additional authority or like first priority authority, if that's even a word, I'm trademarking it. No, but that in people's minds and in their opinion and perspective, Jerry has a little bit more a force in his market because people see him on a another channel versus just like Google straight up listings, you know, Google my business listings. And when people can see you on YouTube and on social media and like video, 
they resonate with you a little bit more because there's emotion attached to it. There's also like, they feel like they have a deeper connection and personal relationship with you. Uh, unlike someone who's just online on Google on like word of mouth. So there's a lot of value in word of mouth, but I'm just talking about at scale. So year three, year four, year five. I don't know exactly. Like I'm, I'm not going to BS with like numbers, but logically Jerry is likely going to make a lot more money. Let's just say 250 to be conservative over those five years uh, annually because of the fact that he has built up an authority in the space. He's, he's likely got a pretty good social media following at that point. People love watching the house tours. You know, he, he's making money from YouTube itself. And a lot of people make a full-time living off of YouTube and other social media channels, you know, sponsorships. There's all sorts of opportunities that'll come his way because people identify him as the Oklahoma real estate agent. And that gives you a lot of leverage. People are going to come to him for real estate deals. So not only will he help them buy and sell properties, you'll also be able to partner with people on deals and people will come to him first because they recognize him more. He, he doesn't have to be any smarter than Bob, but because Jerry is putting himself out there and showing the world that he is a real estate agent and he's documenting his process and he's showing people the ins and outs of his business, that plays a huge factor in terms of his long-term growth. So to come with like the income opportunities, but also like the lifelong networking opportunities that, that come from it is invaluable. Like there is a lot of influencers that I've been grateful enough to meet over the years. They're no different than you and I. However, they have understood the power of leverage when it comes to digital real estate, meaning the more videos and presence that you put out in the market on your channels, the more authority you, you gain in any situation. And you don't have to make the best videos of all time. I'm living proof of that. I have another channel where I make much better, more polished videos, but the simple fact is the more you talk about something, the more you put yourself out there, you're also coaching yourself. And that's another added benefit that I didn't talk about earlier is like you would have the ability to talk through your current experiences. And the, the best part about teaching someone something is you get to learn twice. And you also get to learn a better way of communicating that exact topic in a more concise and efficient way that you can get that point across for people to understand. So if you say or explain the same similar topics over and over and over again, you can learn different ways to rephrase it or get to the point or get a little bit more effective in the way that you teach it because you've said it so many times in a teaching manner. And that's essentially how I approach this is not like teaching, but it's more documenting. And I, I feel much more comfortable in conversations and it translates well into my sales job too, because the more I'm talking and able to express emotion and opinion and, and you know, my thoughts, it, it really sheds light on my sales abilities. And I've seen my sales numbers go up exponentially ever since I've started to pay more attention to like my own journey, my own process. So that was, that was a big learning lesson, but I do definitely, I definitely think that you should double down on creating more content, not even creating just like documenting your content and your journey or, or process, whatever it is that you love talking about. And something that's really cool that I've recently found is a, there's like AI tools that will repurpose and cut your content down into more bite-sized pieces. So for example, let's say this video comes to be like 10, 12 minutes. I could very easily pop, pop this into that AI and it'll cut it down into like bite-sized segments of like 30 to 45 to minute long segments that are optimized for like key talking points where it can identify a section where there might be a, a relative point that I'm getting to. And it'll say, hey, this is, a, this is um, an option for you. You could potentially post this on your social media as its own short form content. And doing that matched with another AI that will then take that repurpose or that that short form content that you could download and then you could put it into that channel and it will be able to repurpose it through multiple channels all at once. So you could put it in as like a minute long segment and it could spit it out to TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat all at once. 
saving you hours per day and hours per week and and days over the course of a month so it's a really cool thing and you know like i said it's it's really powerful whenever you learn the ability of what content can do for you and i've seen it personally like ever since i started posting more content i don't have to be the smartest guy but people see me as an authority figure within my niche that i talk about or the the you know the sports niche i'm like one of the guys and it feels really cool because i know what i'm talking about but because of the fact that i've put myself out there people feel more trusted towards me and that gives me a lot more opportunity from like a sales side from coaching and conversions go up instead of me having to like start from scratch and like claw my way through conversations with people it's it just makes life easy uh, for the most part and income opportunities are abundant for for a lot of people that that really put themselves out there and that's really the, the main point is the i i view digital content as like real estate because it only takes one for your whole life to change let's take dog face from tiktok and back in 2020 he was i don't know what his financial situation was but i can't imagine it was like the best and then he posted that one video of him riding down the street with the can of, or the jug of ocean spray on a skateboard his whole life changed he was sponsored by ocean spray and like he got a house and a truck i believe from all that and like it's just it just takes one video and it doesn't have to be anything amazing but man like there's just too much opportunity out there and i feel like the more fish fishing lines that you put in the water i.e content the more opportunities that you have the more at bats you'll have to really do something you know big time so i say go for it you know what's what's the alternative like what would happen if you continue doing what you're doing you know it, best case scenario your life can change <laughs> worst case scenario you learn one way to not make not to make a video but at least you're putting yourself out there so i would say put out more digital real estate put out more at bats because the more real estate that you put out there the more ownership or control that you have over your niche and like your future really so i'm gonna stop there Thank you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Again, the whole purpose of this is to document the process to financial freedom, share tips, insights, thoughts on our journey to get there and what we're doing currently to, to get to a better place. And if you resonate with that and if you want to follow along or you know someone that would, let them know about the channel. Try to, the bigger the channel gets, the more people it can impact. So thank you so much for watching and take care.